Blue. What the hell, dog? You're eating my drain. You're you literally eating my drain. All right, today on this episode of Fuck This Old House, we are talking electrical, wiring, and all kinds of shenanigans. Right, Blue? I wish I had some kind of awesome intro for, like, Fuck This Old House, but... Fuck This Old House! I think I'll try right here. If not, let's just roll with it. So, uh, that's probably the biggest reason I haven't done any videos, because I've been fucking with this old house. Uh, the reason... It, if you watch to the end, you'll see why we bought this place. Uh, we have blue up there and stuff. It's uh, it's all about location, you know. Got a good deal. Well, I don't want to say good deal. Didn't pay a whole lot for it, so by the time we get it all fixed up, it'll definitely be a nice place for sure. And I just kind of, I was going to do like a whole video of things because there's all kinds of problems. I mean, the termite damage. These floors, there was over five inches difference between there and there. But I've been so busy, you just got to get it done because we got to get uh, one of our places sold here, so all right, all kinds of bills and all that good stuff. So I just kind of want to do this quick video, mostly because like I do like electrical stuff, especially like when it comes like connections and stuff. Like it's hard to find a good wire connection, and I just I seen these at the store. I was like, I'll try them, you know. And these things are amazing for uh, wire nuts here. Oh, let me get a little closer. Let's see if you can see it there. They're the ultra hex lock. These things grip so tight. They are the best, man. Uh, so I was just going to show you how they work. And since I'm doing this, I'm putting up drywall and everything here. I figured, hell, I'll just show. In case anybody needs to know, wants to know how you, you know, wire up a receptacle. Something, it's easy, but you might not know, you know, what the... Little tips and tricks are like on these boxes, you can get them at Home Depot or wherever. They're like 49 cents to come with the two nails already in. And you see this, sorry, you see that ledge here? All you do is line it up with your stud. Well, these studs are kind of bad shape, but <laughs> you line it up till it hits flush. And that sets your depth. So that way you have enough hanging out that it's. Good with a drywall. It's not hanging out too far. It's not too deep or anything. And then you just hammer right in there. Usually what I do, which that one looks looks kind of crooked there. Now I look at it from back here. Not too bad. I tried to make them 16 inch center. Might have been uh, late night on that one or something. So uh, I'll get some stuff together here. And like I'll just, just do a quick run through here of, you know, how to wire up a receptacle and stuff. But yeah, like these floors, let me show you here real quick. Let me pop you out of the holder. Uh, so they were sitting down, actually worked out really good. Three quarter of an inch or so from this floor, from the hardwood floors. And then we put the vinyl planks in, which are really nice. Uh, watch out, blue, it makes it so difficult. And so once I put the new frame rails down for the flooring rails, that three quarter inch flooring plywood on top of it i mean that thing is like watch out blue completely flush it worked out awesome and then coming down here uh this is the heater so what i did because it worked so good under there i just put some uh heat wrap around there for like exhaust manifolds and stuff i had and i kept everything away from it so i'm gonna put like a steel grate over it should be good because normally you'd have to relocate it and everything so I think it's fine. It'll give us a little bit more room too. You watch out there, blue. You can see. So there's like four inches there, and then up here is like five inches. So man, nice and level though now. But if you ever have sloping floors, uh, yeah, then of course they left like the original plank siding on here. <laughs> so blue, what are you doing? Get out of here. A dog makes it so difficult to do anything. He's like, okay, I'll show you uh, how strong these wire knots actually are. Blue, you're in the you're in the video again. Okay, so you just screw. I mean, they screw on so tight. This wire isn't connected to anything, and I mean, it is. It's like as hard as it can. It's not coming off. So I actually feel pretty secure with that. Yeah, when you do your receptacles. 
So I got a couple different ones here. So you got your receptacles here. This one doesn't have it. Oh, I guess it don't. So my old one did. Some of them have little plugs. You can just plug them in. Most codes, you can't do that. You have to put it on here. Okay, now there's two different colors. So the black is actually your hot. That's what has the power. The white is the neutral. And this is a ground. It's like a hard ground. It goes to like a... Uh, actually goes back to the box and it goes to a metal stick in the ground. It's, it's just the ground. So your black wire, your hot wire, is going to go on here. Your neutral is going to go on the silver. And this is your ground. Your ground's going to go here. Most codes, hold on, let's see. You'll need, you can't, you're not, get out of that shot again. Dog makes a difference. Here, you hook it up. You hook it up, Lou. You hook the ground up. You hook the ground up, Blue. <laughs> According to most codes, you have to have an insulated ground. So you'd put that there, and then it would go through like so. You pull it around, and then you would connect your ground out here. That way it's insulated. Uh, if you want, you want to do that, you know. There's been a lot of times where I haven't, you know. <laughs> but it doesn't really matter. It's good to have an insulated ground in case... Something would happen with the hot wire there. So when we're talking about if you're going to hook a switch up to an outlet, you see this piece up here. Focus. So that just connects these two. If you wanted one or the other on a power switch for a lamp, whatever, you would hook your power from your... It'll work. There we go. Yeah. I have a problem with the, the phone here. So, yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, there, good, nice focus. See that piece there? That connects your two connectors. Uh, if you wanted to hook it on a switch, you would run your power from your switch or switch wire to whichever one you wanted, and then you'd break that tab off. That way, you flip your switch. You didn't have to, but that way, it would kick this on, leave that off, if that's what you wanted to do. And, like, another thing, I'm sure this camera will just, just never focus anymore. Oop. One sec here. Oh, yeah. See that little groove there? That's about how long you want to cut your wire. Uh, let's see how close I am. I used to be awesome at this. That's, yeah, dude, that's pretty damn good there. So that, that way you don't have too much insulation or you don't cut it too short. I have, where's my strippers at here? Used to be a stripper. Now I just strip wires. <laughs> So, I'm pretty good at using these. And then, uh, to put an end on it, most electrical, like for house wires, will have like a little cutout in there. This is just kind of, I use this for like automotive. It kind of works good on here too. You can just take a pair of pliers and then just roll the end. And that hooks in there really good. So, let me get a uh, set. Oh, I'll show you this other receptacle here these are really nice okay look because you can just wire not right into them it's very nice They're very expensive though 25 dollars for this thing because i wanted the usb i was like she already rang it up i'm like oh well i'll buy it whatever these were four for five so wiring i mean if you do it yourself it's really cheap you save a lot of money it's kind of why i wanted to make this video just uh if anybody needed just a couple little pointer tips here so let me get things situated and I'll show you how to, I guess, put her in there. Put her in, brother. Okay, as far as cutting the insulation off, I usually go about a thumb length there. And then you can take your blade. It's kind of press through the insulation and just kind of work it around and pull it right off there. But since we're going to do this uh, to code with the ground here, I'm going to take a little bit more insulation off just to expose the ground wire. There we go. I'm just gonna pull that down like so. And put your hot in your, which remember black is hot. That seems weird, especially if you're a car guy. Okay, then I got my insulated pigtail. Most of them will come with a screw here too. So I'm gonna take that off. So like I said, watch it in there. Me and Blue just got back from a pretty good walk while we bought this place. 
All right. See, because like I said, that's the neutral side. Pop that in there. I got that nut on there tight. Yeah, they do. All right. So now, grounded. Definitely grounded there. Well, like I said, we can wire up that in. It'll pop it through the hole there. Let me hook these up here first. So when you, if you run your wires here, just leave yourself enough slack there. You don't want a whole bunch of slack, but you can, you know, where you can work on it there. Driver the screw here. I'm just going to take my pliers right at the very edge there. Just roll a little tip on there or a little circle. And like I said, since this is still connected there, a little bit tight. Since this clip's still on the top there, uh, you'll, you'll put power to both of them then. If it's nice and tight on there. And it's screwed in tight. Make sure the camera's still rolling. So like I said, so now the power is coming in. It's going to go through that tap and down into here. So you'll have power to both. I usually just snug this one up too, just that way it doesn't fall out. If you're not using it. Like if, I should have showed you on that one. So I have power going to that box. And this wire comes from there. So if you'd wire one up in a series, like if this was your power coming in, you would run from here to the next one. Okay, got the ground on there. Got to roll a little tip on here. Just like that. Said so silver, it's stainless, it's your neutral. Like I said, if if you really didn't care about the ground, you could just screw it in there too, you know. But I guess for YouTube's sake, we'll do it this way. It's good to have that way. I guess. That's what they say. And who am I to judge? Take your slack out. Pop it in there. Just like that. Now we're going to put our little screws in here. Like a giant sheet of ice fill. You should see the icicles on this place. It's insane. Oh, I'll save you the boring part of that there. So now, like I said, this is our ground. I'm going to cut a little bit off there. Take your handy dandy fancy wire nuts. And just like that, you got your receptacle installed. Super easy. Uh, like I said, it, it can get complicated if you run like double switches and stuff, but just throwing that out there in case it helps anybody, you know. And if you have any other questions about stupid shit, let me know. Uh, I said, watch the end. We'll see probably why we bought this place. Very nice land. So, all right, catch you later. All right, this is. One of the reasons that we bought this place. Yeah, I don't know, that old garage gonna have to do something with it. Man, there's a lot of snow here, blue. But, oh, let's see. Looks like, man, there's a pile of snow here. Tons of deer and turkey up here. Uh, da, da. That's deer poop. He's like, oh, don't eat that. Stupid dog. Oh. Well, 
I'll fast forward through here. <laughs> how rough it is without snowshoes <laughs> this is why i bought the place beautiful land uh so me and blue are gonna try to go out in the frozen pond uh it's been like zero around here but it's pretty warm today so if we fall through at least it'll be on tape right buddy let's see man so deep wow <laughs> I'll let Blue go first. Yeah, she's pretty slushy. Oh. Oh, yeah. Nope. <laughs> I don't think she's frozen yet, Blue. Blue's all confused. Whew. I'm supposed to get the, like, sub zero and stuff this week and get more snow. So, maybe then we can go out. I'll take the. Take a can am out on there, maybe do some donuts. I got a lot of work to do. <sighs> All right, back to work. <laughs> 